we could see that how in different languages people have different feelings we didn't know that what were they saying but we could see by the emotions that what were they feeling and how happy, or how happy they were by remembering remembering these old things it's a really important project in terms of encouraging people mm. who are coming to school with maybe two or three languages that they can speak that they don't stop speaking as soon as they come into school feeling embarrassed or not valuing those languages. We all the uh, students were like uh, get, like having their poems and reading aloud like poems, some were poems and some were songs of their own mother tongue languages. We had so many languages in this room and we didn't understand the poet, the, the, the language, the words that were being spoken but there was such a connection just with the emotion and the way that the, the girls were able to perform and share. Mine was not a poem, mine was a, was a song called, uh, like in, in, in an English version it's called It's a Small World. I choose it because it was the first song because my mother doesn't know Chinese much. That song was the first song that my mother I know it in Chinese and she sang to me when I was like going to bed and yeah and it's like the meaning is really good that it's a small world and got uh, many kind of people in the world living and but the words took us so far but we also got quite a lot from hearing the poems we got a sense of the mood um, and we had a really strong example of some of somebody who did understand the words the impact mm. and the and yeah. how that shifted her yeah. emotional state mm -hmm. Um, but for the rest of us, it took us there as well, very just to hit, it was very strong. That each language had a different sort of tone to it. Um, so it's going to be really lovely to see how, how the girls managed to get from the things that they shared with each other in their mother tongues about why the poems and the lullabies were special to them, how they're going to get that into English. So we've already made a start, mm. but I, I know that's going to be a yeah. job they're going to do further yeah, with you. we'll develop that further. Uh, and this is a, a, a competition that is going to be judged by the Poet Laureate, who's the most famous poet probably uh, within the country. And I also shared my own poem, which was about my childhood. And um, it was from my mother. And when I was little, she gave it to me. My poem was about my childhood, that what I used to do. And it's about like every, every baby that when he's little and what they do. But uh, but I say all the time. But the most most important thing was that when we were in the poetry workshop, we were all having those emotions that we actually used to have when we were little. Okay, and then you bring your hands straight. And if I show you like this, your hands, are, your shoulders are going down, and they're behind you. So it's pulling, it's pulling your shoulders back. We also did uh, like controlling ourselves like she told us to breathe together so that we are like uh, connected to each other like steps are should be back and brought uh, your shoulders and stuff like that to connect each other every moment we spend together that will be complete it doesn't make that that we are from different cultures or different countries it really made me feel that we are all the same and uh, we all have kind of same same childhood. That pointer teacher gave us some shapes. Some of them got round uh, like balls, and then some were like having seashells, and some were like many other shapes. And she said that the first word that comes to your mind and tell us that what word, and then we all uh, like thought about a word and like described that image, and then it was quite fun. She gave us a paper, and then put three dots and then three yeah. letters and we have to make like sentences uh, and with or that the word goes into them and it was really quite interesting so imaginative um, and we also shared our pictures our childhood pictures which were really close us close to us and uh, we all had different kind of emotions some were really happy some were really sad some wanted to go back to their country and have that time back because childhood is a really important time of our life that we can never forget.